Hey guys and welcome back to Vikings 4x4 an Adventure for another adventure into the Hawkesbury headlands. Today, Jared and I have headed back to Gunya Beach, just opposite Juno Point to fish. Now we have really been focusing on this area in the last few fishing videos. The Hawkesbury Headlands has to be one of our favorite places to head to. It's only 45 minutes from Sydney, straight up the M1 if you're heading to Mooney Mooney and just over an hour to the central coast. So Gunya Beach is not too far from Patonga Beach, which is where our last adventure here was and Jared reeled in a very nice 28 centimeter brim. So this catch has held our hopes high for this trip. So without further ado, stay tuned to see if we catch anything and let's get right into the adventure. We arrived at the Durban boat ramp in Mooney Mooney not long after the sun came up and put the tinny into the Hawkesbury. Now Gunya Beach is only accessible by boat, so we were aiming to get in there nice and early to make the most of it and beat the weekend crowds that we knew would come later. This place has heaps of fishing potential and Jared was eager to cast out. Let's take a look at what he's using. Today I'm using the brand new Shimano Sedona XT combo. And today I've got 15 pound braid, Shimano brand, and I've got as my leader, a 20 pound Jarvis Walker monofilament. And today I'm using the running sinker rig and um, hopefully she does well. So for today, I'm trying something a little bit different to Jared. I believe Jared is sticking to the classic bait fishing with chicken. I'm going to switch it off with some soft plastics. So my outfit is a Shimano Sienna O2 spin line with a weight of two to five kilos. Shimano Sienna 2500 reel with a 15 pound braid main line and a 15 pound mono leader. I'm using some small two inch soft plastics with a 1 8 jig head and I'm going to be trying a few different retrieval styles today but you'll probably find I'll stick to the classic twitching as it seems to be the one that garners the most results. So let's cast it out and see if we can't get something. After pitching the rod holder onto the beach, Jared got to work identifying the best places to fish. We were aiming to test out the beach as well as the rocks on the side and Gunya Point so that we were sure we covered all the ground on this beach. We were joined by Jared's friend Brittany who had been keen to come out fishing for a while. Once the rods were cast out, it was just a waiting game for Jared and Brittany. Now those who have been subscribed for a while know that we scouted this place out in our video made on fishing spots in the Hawkesbury headlands. Gunya Beach looked really promising, so we decided to test it out for a full day and see if we could get anything. Gunya Beach sports some incredible scenery, just like any other place in the headlands, with a view that looks out into the mouth of the Hawkesbury River, one of the largest rivers in New South Wales. You can catch a large variety of fish in the headlands of the mighty Hawkesbury River. The most common fish found are Taylor, Yellowtail Kingfish, Australian Salmon, Luderick, Snapper, Brim, Whiting, Leather Jacket, Flathead and Mulloway. Now we are only a short ways into the morning and I've already lost a line. The lures don't quite get the same distance as the line Jared has with the sinkers on. So my plan has slightly adjusted. I want to get down to the left hand side behind me there where all the rock faces are. My aim was to chase Brim and Floody off these lures today and I think that is going to be the most promising spot for them in terms of lures. There's plenty of constantly submerged structure and I wouldn't have to cast all that far out which is great for these lure lines with the small jig head. However, the only downside is the tide is blocking that at the moment. So I'm going to have to wait until the tide settles and goes out a little bit before I can cover all that ground and head up to the point. For the first part of the day, we spent most of the time enjoying the beautiful scenery that Gunya Beach had to offer. And honestly, I don't think anyone was complaining. This was the first day trip that Jared and I had been on for a while, and we had been wanting to check this place out for a long time. The tide came right the ways up and there was very little hard sand to stand on. This was perfect for fishing right in the deep spot where Jared had his line. And just as we were losing hope and getting ready to head back to Mooney Mooney for lunch, this happened. Yep, yep, there we go. Are you still there? Oh, oh yes. Mm. 
Beauty. And there awesome. she is. Number one. Hey, my friend. There's another tailor. <laughs> the first ever catch for the big Shimano Sedona XT. Have a look at that. A nice tailor. Oh, wow. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's off the line. All right. We're going to get him back in the water. Oh. Jesus, mate. Let him go. <laughs> How big do you reckon he is? I don't know. Oh, oh uh, all right. Put him back in the water. I think that's his way of saying yes. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> he chopped on me. I think he likes the brand. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> he was chomping on it. Good stuff. All right, so how do you think the Sedona fared in that one? Oh, pretty good, mate. Um, new rod and uh, d definitely new abilities. Very smooth. Um, just everything went so well. Um, could feel every single, every single bite, every single movement. It was, it was great. It was a surprise. I, I, I had, had second doubts and I was like, I don't know. But um, yeah. Got him on great. in the end, eh? First catch off Gunya Beach for the day as well. Now, you'll notice he's using these little bells on top of the rod. Definitely gave him a good indication that the fish was on. You see now we had to quickly turn all the mics on as that fish reeled itself in. Oh yeah, we're definitely excited now. First catch of the day goes to Jared and the Shimano Sedona XT. Little Taylor, so hopefully the rest of the day is good, eh? That awesome Taylor brought our hopes back up, so Jared and Brittany had a few more casts out off the beach. The tide was around the halfway point, which was the absolute perfect time for fishing. Taylor are a schooling fish like brim that are abundant in the Hawkesbury headlands. They are often found in the top few metres of water, unlike brim that can be found deeper down. They feed off bait fish in the saltwater estuaries just like the upper Hawkesbury. We are unsure of its length, but it was a welcome addition to Jared's catch list that is ever growing in the Hawkesbury region. Those of you who are keen eyed will notice in the last couple of videos, Jared and I have been wearing these Vikings hoodies. They are a little bit of an experiment that we have had going for a little while now and we're pretty excited to announce that you can actually buy these now off our brand new website. It's all a little bit of trial and error at the moment but the more interest shown the easier it will be for us to get it right. So if you're interested check out the link in the description below or head to our channel and click on the link in the channel banner. So thank you guys for tuning in today for our adventure to Gunya Beach in the Hawkesbury Headlands. We absolutely recommend this place if you're looking for a beautiful beach to spend the day on and catch some fish. There's absolutely no road access here, so if you bring your boat in, it's pretty likely that you'll be left alone. It's a beautiful beach to bring the family to, and definitely you might get lucky catching a fish out here. So if you enjoyed this one, guys, I urge you to please consider subscribing and supporting the channel. We really appreciate all the support, and you guys make it possible for us to come to these amazing places and show you around. So thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch our adventure. Hopefully guys, you learned something today. And if you did, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next adventure.